Is it possible to make 3D printed objects completely watertight? And is it cost effective to 3D print objects like these watering cans? 3D printed objects are printed line by line and layer by layer. And here you can see that they're not actually printed solid. 3D printers fill the inside of a part with a structural infill. To make the object look smooth, it draws the outside line separately. When preparing an object for 3D printing, we could choose the settings for the infill percentage percentage and the number of walls we want it to 3D print. Now you might be thinking, okay, why not just make it completely solid? That'll be watertight. And while a completely solid 3D print will most likely be watertight, it does increase the cost of the print and the amount of material needed. So how many outer walls does a 3D print need to be watertight? This will also determine whether or not these watering cans will be cost effective. In the US on Amazon.com, you can find some similar watering cans for around $10. If we 3D print ours with one wall, it'll cost us about $5.34. With two walls, it'll cost about $6.93. Three walls will cost us $8.16. Four walls will cost $8.58. And completely solid will cost us $12.09. Still not really a bad price. Let's go ahead and jump into Fusion 360 and create some containers for an experiment. We'll make it 80 millimeters in diameter by 80 millimeters tall. To hollow it out, we could use the shell tool and we can set the thickness of the wall. We know that each wall line is around half a millimeter thick. So let's go ahead and set the first one to 0.5 millimeters for one wall. And if I drag it into the slicer, you'll see we have an object with one wall thickness. And about an hour later, here is the printed cup. It only has one line width of thickness. So will it be able to hold the water or will it leak? Surprisingly, this cup with just one line of wall thickness seems to be holding in the water without leaking. I printed this cup on the Bamboo Lab P1S and it apparently did a very good job with layer adhesion. However, it's important to note that this is a very simple shape, so it wasn't very difficult for the 3D printer. Let's up the difficulty and see if this full size 3D printed watering can can hold the water without leaking. You can see that the surface finish isn't quite as good as the simple cylinder. Also, because the container is taller, there will be significantly more water pressure at the base. Immediately, I noticed some small droplets starting to form. I'm guessing because the shape was much larger and a little bit more complicated than the basic cylinder, that the printer wasn't quite able to get as good of layer adhesion. So if you're printing an object with only one line of wall thickness, you don't really have any redundancy. So if there's any slight imperfection in layer adhesion, it can and probably will leak. Here's how the object looks with just one line of wall thickness. If we go ahead and increase the wall thickness to two lines, here's how it looks. Take a look at this gap right here. By optimizing the wall thickness, I was able to remove the unnecessary portion with infill. Now the outer two lines and the inner two lines are right next to each other. This will further increase redundancy. And on top of that, it won't add any more material to the print. I kept this area thick just to increase the strength of the spout. So how do you think these changes will affect the water tightness of this design? This time around, I printed it in this silk copper color and I think it turned out amazing. It almost looks like real copper. Let's go ahead and fill it up and see how it performs. So far, it appears to be watertight. So I'm going to say that we have conclusive evidence to suggest that you can indeed make completely watertight 3D prints. And it not only looks really cool, but it's also cost effective. It costs under $7 USD to 3D print, and I think it looks much cooler than all of the other options. This video was sponsored by Micro Center, and I would say they're the best computer store in the US. 
Micro Center is a all around great computer and electronics store. You can buy Apple products or you could build your own custom PC. You can get all types of computer accessories and electronics. Also, it's one of the very few places where you could buy 3D printers and 3D printer filament in person. They have a great selection between high-end 3D printers and great budget 3D printers. If you don't have a Micro Center near you, you could shop online at microcenter.com.